Next topic is difficulty. Difficulty is a number that regulates how long it takes for a miner to add new block of transactions to the blockchain. This difficulty value updates every two weeks to ensure it takes 10 minutes to add a block to the blockchain in official Bitcoin blockchain. Define a variable initial target. Set it to this number. This is a number but uh, you see it in hexadecimal form so let me quickly show you this number is this copied value and you can see this this is a numeric value so this is the value against which our block hash is compared and once block hash is below this value so that means we have mined the block so let me close the terminal initialize the variable self dot current target and assign the value of initial target here. Create one more variable self.bits and this bits variable will hold the same target but in short form because there is a space constraint on the Bitcoin blockchain so Bitcoin developers found a way to convert the same numeric value in a short form. So we need to create one more function target to bits and pass initial target and let's go ahead and define this function here inside the util this function will convert the initial target value in a shorter form so let's go back to our blockchain and import this function here target to bits go to block header class right here and change it to self.bits the value that we just set self.bits and now we can remove this and also set the target to self.current let's go inside the block header class receive the target value that we just passed target and do self.block hash equals to target plus one we are deliberately setting the block hash value greater than the target so that it should go inside the loop and try to find the value of block hash which is below the target so now let's replace this with self dot block hash greater than target so it should continue this loop until the block hash is greater than the target now we need to make some changes here now let's replace this piece of code with this one and let's import all these functions here little indian print and into little indian so this is nothing new we have done this multiple times so we are just concatenating all the values together first we have converted all the values in byte form then we have concatenated everything together then we ran the hash 256 function on those values and finally we are converting it into integer format so that we can compare it against the target value and the last thing is let's do self dot block hash equals to int to little endian right now the block hash is in numeric form so we need to convert it into hexadecimal form so that we can store it in json file so to self dot block hash it is of 32 bytes convert it in hex and then reverse it save it and the last thing we need to convert the bits in hex value as well because right now bits is in byte format bits and it's simple to self dot bits and hex and that's pretty much with this function this is the right way of implementing the mine function and this is how exactly bitcoin is comparing your target with the block hash the four leading zeros is just the simplest form of representation how mining works now let's go back to blockchain let me clear my blockchain file and we will do a fresh start blockchain 
remove everything save it and now let me start my blockchain and perfect it has started mining we have block one block two block three now let's look at the data and let's look at this block and we can see the previous block hash is starting with zero the new block hash is starting with four zeros so everything is working fine and we also have the bits here the target difficulty and with this we have changed everything that we had to inside the block header class we have changed our mine function instead of comparing the four leading zeros we have implemented the actual core concept of bitcoin blockchain inside our blockchain so we are comparing the block hash with the target value if block hash is below the target value that means we have successfully mined the block